Um, so we been we can talk about um, uh, our experience in this journey almost for 30 years and uh, specifically in the context of um, the current transformations of digital transformation we are talking about at least last 10 to 10 years of at least the whole world realizing the transformation but we had the great opportunity even early part of uh, the century that is early part of 2000 being exposed to the telecom revolution so because we came from that space so what is really happening in this world is that the technology infrastructure is giving the capability to interconnect uh, both services, service points, even up to the people's mind. Even technology has gone up to that level of capability. So, and the, as businesses, what we are trying to see, especially banks um, uh, in the context, the one is businesses trying to come out with more, more product and services. For any business has got one common substrate that is the financial dimension of all that and that is where the banks can play a major role and creating that substrate which is trustworthy um, more uh, taking care of the customers interest and making sure that that is that is existing as always as a as a trusted partner you don't have to think about it that's the kind of possibility which you are going to see in the world and the services are becoming even the content is becoming digital, the physical element is getting connected. So it is all getting into the mind rather than trying to be physical. I mean, that's the kind of transformation which you're saying and where the banks can make, a f or the financial institution can uh, make a significant uh, 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 contribution in that transformation. And the second point which I need to highlight is the, uh, the nature of that engagement. The nature is more value driven because in the past, um, you know, the lack of information, lack of access to the product and services. These were the constraints which people used to actually take undue advantage of the situation. That is not going to go away. Tomorrow it's all going to be based on how much of value, based on the context which I am in, you are providing. So it's, a, it's going to be more value-based engagement. So you need systems and uh, capabilities to measure that and monitor that and then, you know, uh, charge based on that. That's the kind of space which we ask to play. Uh, it, actually, it is not. I believe they are, they are actually solving one problem of where the banks and creating uh, possibilities of how it can be, all the frictions can be taken away and how that service can be rendered end to end. And uh, for someone like a bank who, uh, who is ideally supposed to be the backend, uh, I mean, capability to start with, providing the trust for the customer and the services which these fintechs are coming up with can be an augmented capability on top of it and by which actually they can keep partnering with them rather than trying to the disrupting and of course at some point of time maybe they can absorb them as part of their umbrella or as a partner because if they are able to do one uh, use case the most optimal way it's better them to be partner because once you take it in uh, on board yourself your inefficiency might go in there rather than the benefit of contributing, collaborating with the partners would be more appropriate. To me, they are more enablers than a competitor. Right. First of all, it is a journey. It is not about a big bang transformation, right? So this, the, the whole world is going to be more digital and it is going to be evolving. So the number one possibility is creating the agility within the business to enable the transformation. The, the, the possibility is all about trying to be uh, more um, creating the technology infrastructure, the business infrastructure, even the people mindset to adapt to the new evolving world. So now that's the number one. The number two, from an infrastructure point of view, you need to bring in agility at the right level. You don't have to go and replace and rip and replace everything. You provide first is engagement, customer engagement level, then the intelligence level with the um, AIML which has been talked about big time. Utilize those kind of technologies which can give more intelligence to customers context and evolve that kind of agility. More and more products are going to be, uh, going to be um, consolidated, the services will be consolidated. So just going beyond pure play financial services and also into the customer's needs 
uh, rather than serving just the financial part, addressing the financial needs. That means instead of giving a mortgage, giving the helping the customer to acquire the house or buying the house would be the more meaningful. Or rather than providing, um, let us say, um, a credit card, uh, making I mean, the, the enabling the transactions, retail transaction for the customer, even without a physical card is the kind of nature of businesses which we are looking at. It's, to me, these are all the f few fundamental aspects that's going to be considered in the evolution. The, I can't see an end at this point of time. It is going to be a transformation for, uh, for some time, at least for 10 to 20 years. That's a kind of a uh, um, mind shape. And then definitely it is going to completely change the human race, how we will work, how we will operate, how we will live in this planet. So it all going to be based on that. I think once you reach there, that it is going to be further advancing the mankind. So I think it is going to be a journey. Uh, the, what we are calling as a digital world is all about the, from the physical to the mental state or the spiritual state is what we are transforming and that's the kind of change which is going to happen. Which is going to fundamentally change the whole mankind, the way in which operate and uh, I think it, can, it is going to be a significant journey for next at least 20-30 years.